everybody the shave of the day. I'm Mark McLean, and I'm glad you're here. I guess I'm sort of looking patriotic. I didn't think about me having a matching uh, bandana on my head to go <laughs> with my shirt until I just pulled off my uh, <laughs> overshirt. Oh, wow. You, you know, I dress like in layers in the wintertime. That way it sort of helps keep you warmer. So uh, that's why I had, had that shirt on. But I wasn't thinking that I, I was going like with the stars and stripes <laughs> theme today. Okay, the red, white, and blue. Okay, how about the red tip, white, and blue? That's what we're going to be using today, the Gillette Red Tip. I love this razor, one of my favorite of all time, double-edge razors. I learned how to shave on uh, with one of these from my dad. And inside, is a blade that I really like. It's the Persona Platinum. That's right, the Persona Platinum. These blades right here are awesome. These were given to me by a good buddy of mine, Brian Powell Jr. Thank you, buddy. Brian is a, an awesome guy. And the, he actually got me started in the wet shaving community. Uh, we were friends in the knife uh, community for years. We even went to Blade Show last year, and uh, we even, uh, after Blade Show, spent the following week, or part of the following week, in Hilton Head, uh, my wife and uh, I, along with he and his father, so we, we had a great time. Uh, the soap of choice today is this, and you're saying, well, what the heck's that? <laughs> big old chalk, big old block of cream of sapone. Crema Saponi. This is Cella. Cella Crema Saponi, scented of sweet almonds or uh, what is it they call it? Marazepam. Uh, marazepam. And uh, virtually this particular type soap has been unchanged. I'm talking about since its introduction back in 1899. Literally unchanged. Now you know it must have been a good quality soap back in 1899 for them to say, well, hey, we got something here, boys. I ain't changing a thing. And that's what they did, pretty much. They didn't change a thing. Now in Italy, where the soap comes, uh, you will uh, find that particular soap in all sorts of barber shops all over the place because it's more or less the, uh, the master barber's soap of choice uh, all over Italy. They consider Cella uh, the greatest shaving soap ever produced. And it's easy to see why if you've ever used it yourself. In fact, I understand that a hundred gram or a thousand gram block or a brick will provide over year. Uh, let's see, what is it? Two years of daily shaving. That's a thousand gram block. So that's basically what I've got. Over two years of shaving right there. Maybe a little, a little bit's missing because I've been using it. But anyway, it's awesome stuff and it smells decent. But the lather ability and the, the texture is just phenomenal. It really is. My brush today is a Samoa 830. I like this brush. And I'm uh, softening up the boar bristles right now with some hot water. I uh, haven't even been soaking this. I haven't been allowing this soap to bloom. But I don't need to. The way they tell you to... Uh, Load your brush for Italian soaps is simple. You fill it, your brush with water, and then you bang it on the countertop a couple of times like that, just to allow the water and gravity to take hold and, and make the water leave the, the uh, bristles. And that, that's enough, they say. Then just point tip down and swirl. They say approximately 45 seconds of swirling is enough time to load your brush properly. So uh, we're not counting, but uh, we'll do every bit of uh, 30 seconds for sure, maybe even 45. I know one thing's for certain. I've used this soap once before. It's a tremendous soap. It really is. I am going to um, take the block out that I have in my uh, Paul Revere bowl. I'm going to take it out rinse it off and use it again because it's got plenty of of shaves still remaining on that that block that I've got 
I love it too. I can't recall where I got it. Uh, one of my buddies in the shaving community gave it to me. Seems like it was Mike Baker. And if that's the case, uh, Mike, I am forever grateful to you for turning me on to Cella Crema Sapone. It's a great soap. Okay, I've removed it. There was a, a small amount of water in the bottom of the bowl. I'm mixing that in with the bristles. I don't even have a pre-shave on today. I was going to use some, but honestly, I don't think it's going to be necessary because of the quality of this soap. And that's why, right there. Look at that. Man, it just paints on thick. You may have noticed I, uh, I thinned my beard out earlier today. That stuff is unbelievable. And the scent's okay. It doesn't smell awesome. I mean, you're not gonna say, wow, I wish they had that in a, an aftershave or cologne. I'd wear that every day of my life. Nothing like that. But the shaving ability that you get out of this lather, it's just, I mean, it's, look at that. It's just unbelievable. I really like it, the way it does. It, phenomenal. Just hard to beat it. Cella, an Italian barber shave soap of choice. That's what they love it. I've got several Italian friends that have uh, told me about it. They told me I had to have some or I was not officially a wet shaver. That's, that's how they worded it. I know they were joking around, but uh, still, I wanted to get some and try it. All right, let's go ahead and try this baby out. No pre-shave, by the way. Man, you can just sense the way that it slides and glides across your face. I love it. One thing about these, uh, these Gillette style double edge razors, they're awesome. But if you got big hands, it's like, <laughs> it's like, I, I need more handle on this one, you know, but other than that, of course you couldn't even get this. You couldn't buy this razor off of me. Don't get me wrong. That's how much I love it. It's fantastic. A lot of sentimental, uh, reasons too that I won't go into. I mentioned it on uh, an earlier video in case you want to watch it. Awesome stuff though. Now I want to just make sure that the beard line is trimmed up close. I guess you would judge this uh, razor as um, a fairly aggressive razor. Medium, I guess, is how I would judge it. The weekend is here.
hope you guys have a, a lot of plans. Plans to be with the family. Things to do. Aha, there's a little chunk. That was in uh, on the side of my face earlier. And right now, just going to trim up uh, the line around the bottom. Then I rotate it to the other side and go over here. Going to uh, coat a little bit more, stir up my bowl, put a few drops of water, just, uh, just that much right there, nothing more. Maybe a little bit more than that. That's it. It's not required to uh, put a lot of water. It's not, I, I wouldn't call this a very thirsty soap. Uh, I guess in comparison to some, perhaps, maybe, maybe it is. I just put some more in with that, by the way. Depends on what type of uh, lather you like. You know, if you like a, a really thick coating, a really thick lather with a, a lot of foam, it's there if you want it. <laughs> but man, I love the texture. Almost couldn't wait to get into this this morning. I chose this one yesterday. That's when I decided I was going to use it today for today's shave. And I just sort of uh, keep some of my brushes in rotation. And I thought, well, it's time for the Samog 830 to uh, to be used, and uh, so I grabbed it this morning. But no particular reason that, uh, did I choose the boar bristle. I mean, it is a uh, a brush that has a lot of backbone to it. So if if I needed it, it would be there. But it's not necessary. I love the soap. It's the best shaving soap I've had all day. It's the only shaving soap I've had all day. Today, anyway. Okay, doing still doing the downward pass on my neck below the beard line. And if you hear a lot of banging in the background, sounds like construction workers. That's probably because what's, that's what you're hearing, getting some uh, new doors on the house. And that stuff is good. And I could probably wipe off the rest and finish. I mean, I would have a socially acceptable shave with just this alone, but nah. We've got to make sure we get it. So there's no need to shave tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. My uh, computer crashed the other day. Just gonna spread it around a little bit now just to check out, see if there's any uh, areas I missed. Anyway, as I was saying, Just um, the other day, my computer just uh, up and died. It, did, it didn't die, it's like having a slow death. Um, what happened actually was it uh, first started uh, 
shutting down and then it stopped doing that and then it just sort of stopped uh, allowing you to use the space bar and some of the bottom rows of uh, letters are uh, non-functioning now. So, I, um, I go to Best Buy, which is a local computer store. Check them out. <clears throat> they had a special deal going. So, I uh, got a computer. Real inexpensive. But one that will help hold me over for a a little while and do the job you know so um, I get it home it's a Toshiba a 15 inch screen with a uh, touch screen so I get it home and um, everything's you know going great everything's copacetic I like it. You know, it's a great computer. So, uh, first thing I do is download McAfee, or McAfee, as I've heard people pronounce it incorrectly. McAfee is a, a virus, a virus uh, eliminator software slash POS, because it really doesn't do a good job. However, I did not know that. So, uh, within two days after having it, I end up with numerous instances of malware, spyware, and viruses. Thank you, McAfee, McAfee, whatever you want to call it, McCrappy, McCrappy. It is really pathetic stuff. I wish somebody had told me not to fool with McAfee. So I take it back to the store. I have the option of returning it for money that they will uh, mail to me in the next few days, or I can pay a hundred dollars for a virus install and have the Geek Squad back me up for a year at Best Buy and then uh, take care of my computer. And that also includes coverage for uh, like if I were to bust or break, crack the screen, etc. So, uh, for that and for $50 more, you can also have uh, uh, coverage uh, uh, where you can have it online and you can just uh, worry about them taking care of it online or you can do it in person. So luckily I get it back today. Today I'm using Murray and Lanham's, Lanman's, that's Murray and Lanman Orange Blossom. It's that Orange Blossom special. Bring in my baby back. I used to love that fiddle song. No, it wasn't a violin, that was a fiddle. Anyway, they make Orange uh, Blossom, Murray and Landman, but they also make Florida water. A lot of people like Florida water. They make some other uh, scents as well. But today I'm trying this out. Doesn't smell like orange. Does smell like blossoms though. So we will uh, try some of this. Check it for alcohol consistency. I don't think I need to do that because it's got a lot of alcohol. Whoa! So if you're looking for a, a, a splash on aftershave that's going to wake you up in the morning, Try some orange blossom. First time I ever tried this stuff and wow. Set you off, baby. Doesn't smell too bad though, it really doesn't. I'm using Menon's Afta today as my post-shave cream. This is skin conditioner. It has a slight blue tint to it when you put it out there. There it is. But uh, it does the job. Moisturizes, refreshes and revitalizes your skin and I really had a close shave today so uh, that's part of the reason that uh, I got such a big sting or burn with that 
orange blossom special. <laughs> there you have it. Now, for certain, I really truly have reached whole status. <sighs> yes, I've reached it. And I thank you guys for watching been a great week and we've got a great weekend ahead so you get out and enjoy yourselves okay thanks for watching again and I do appreciate all the comments all the, the, those of you who subscribe I do try my best to subscribe back if I miss you then I apologize let me know and uh, I will definitely subscribe back to you have a good day and a great weekend peace <laughs>